Netflix's stock is going crazy and the likes of one-year-olds are making decisions there. Let's take one-year-old Johnny. You can teach him to recognize a dog and recognize a shoe. When Johnny spots a dog, he can immediately recognize it even though this one may look nothing like the one you taught him to recognize. In the unlikely event that a dog is wearing shoes, he can say dog shoes, putting them together. How does that happen? Well, we don't know exactly, but we do know that Johnny somehow creates a mental model of the dog and the shoe in his brain. This simple phenomena is what we're trying to achieve with machine learning. Say you watched Star Wars, The Return of the Jedi on Netflix, and you gave it a high rating. Netflix will then recommend similar movies, but this recommendation is done by a machine or a computer. How does that work? The movie you watched has certain characteristics, like genre, ear produced, actors, setting, story, etc. These are called features. A computer could then look through all the movies in Netflix's library collection and pick out the ones that closely resembles the one you liked. But Unlike looking through a spreadsheet for an exact match, the computer can do an approximate match, so it may pick out a recommendation where the genre and the storyline matches, but nothing else does. The computer does this by creating an internal model that contains many clusters, and each point in the cluster represents a movie. The closer two points are in the cluster, the closer is the similarity between these movies. Now back to Johnny. Is it possible that Johnny is able to recognize the dog in the same way? Perhaps there are different types of models for different types of cognitive activities. The computer can definitely process lots of information about thousands of movies and refine its model, but humans can't. On the other hand, this clustering based model is not going to help to predict, say, your company's growth trajectory over the next five years. That requires a different model. So the secret to helping a computer learn is to design the right kind of model. Humans have to do that. While Netflix's computers create a model to make movie recommendations, IBM's Watson may create a model for natural language processing and Google's computers create models for face recognition and photographs. While computers are great at processing lots of information, we haven't figured out how they can replicate the creativity of the brain and we humans have to determine the models that the computer use for learning in the first place. The combined power of machine learning and human ingenuity can help us make a positive difference. So back to answering the original question, are one-year-olds really making decisions at Netflix? The answer is a partial S. The model that the machine uses to make movie recommendations is an approximation to what one-year-old Johnny does with his mental model.